on this circle shift right here, team I and D has, they, they could like find a spot in the circle, sure, but they would have absolutely no info. They're just gonna have to go in blind and then hope for the best, which, you know, sometimes you just have to do. But the fact that they got a knock on Fnatic and they didn't like try and pressure that is their mistake. If they never got the knock on Fnatic and Fnatic held their ground really well and they IND didn't have an opening, then okay, sure. Like maybe you, it's just suicide pushing straight into Fnatic, but they got an opening. Um, we don't want to play two. So you see right here so oas gets one to the spot for the time being I think you, the pretty circle. good shots actually that's you want to add far. something interesting about team soul right now we'll just come to that in a second always getting a knock over here what uh so oas gets one that's really good feeling confident team soul is spread on I honestly yeah he, he just felt too confident usually after you get a knock you just want to go prone and just tpp Get some more info before you take more challenges. By the side of the zone right now, Amon is at one end. Have so he forgets that about that. Wiper. <clears throat> Ronak here. Um, I mean, he got away with it because Team IND didn't. Teams. If IND was f TSM in this case, like Ronak would be punished for not helping his team, but. They didn't push. By his lonesome towards the southeast of the zone. Yeah, at Ronak least a is... kilo, about, about, about a kilometer separates uh, the two members. That is something we are not really accustomed to seeing at this big stage right now, Blair. I We are not, but you know what? <clears throat> in some way, I do believe that could even work in their favor. I... So IND also has a team downhill to their left, right? And they just knocked one. So they put, they're putting a lot of pressure to that team. That team's probably not gonna push straight up into them we are not but you know what in some way i do believe that could even work in your favor you're already oh. five and he will just go throw the frame no one's shooting at him but and oh my gosh they get another knock right so they get one and then they get another knock and he's revived already so ind look ind is four up now all full HP. They get a knock. Like, sure, it's not in zone, right? But I think <clears throat> IND should understand whatever team they just knocked right here. Probably control the tip of what's in zone. From here, if they kill this, kill this team, they get this side of the circle. And the circle, the blue is closing, so I think, you know, they just get in a panic. Oh, uh, Fnatic always getting knocked out, but look at it this way, right? Like you have to- Oh, and he almost thirsts them two too. Players, they're spread apart, but it can, in a different world, it can increase the chances of staying alive, because if even if one gets taken down, the person, the, the team who took that man down is gonna be looking <clears throat> for the second player of soul, and he's like, where the hell is he? And it's probably somewhere else. So it could work. Yeah, out. so, IND just completely stopped taking this fight. And based on the zone, there's not even a good backup. Like, even if everything's open in the zone, there's not a good spot to play in, regardless. Count, it's very high risk, but it could be on his knees at the moment. We still have 12. He basically just uh, clawed his way out of Yeah, and then they stop. Death right now. Look, they just end up putting themselves in an even worse situation against Fnatic. I didn't to get a knock on the enemy, and he's lying prone in the grass. I think he. Got the boys from and yeah, and then you guys saw what happened but afterwards. The boys from our screens right now does have that bridge cover, and Soul gets now them. <clears throat> oh my good. Yes, and the problem right now for uh, the players of John Mara, they're down, way down, and there's so many. They're not shooting at each other. Blue, they need to get some closing in. They need to move in further, and I do believe Evo is aware, but they're in the blue. They need All right, to get so at this point. If I was Team IND, 
I probably our team probably would have died earlier just pushing Fnatic or Fnatic would be dead. But at this point, IND should know if Fnatic looks at them, they're dead. And IND knows Fnatic is up here because they knocked Fnatic twice up here. And then Fnatic is fighting you and me. They see it in the kill feed. They know Fnatic is busy with a different team. They hear Fnatic shooting. They see Fnatic getting kills in the kill feed, probably north of them. This is when Team IND just needs to push straight up onto the backs of Fnatic and just try and try and kill them. Because think about it this way. Next circle's up. Okay, IND gets in circle. Fnatic is up here. Fnatic kills them. Fnatic takes their spot. So it doesn't even matter that it's not in zone if they take a fight out of zone because there's nowhere they could go in zone with Fnatic on the back. Fnatic will kill them either way. So, <clears throat> IND had another small opening here when Fnatic is busy with UME. Some cover. I do they have three people busy with UME. Ronak is holding the flank. So that's a good, good job by Fnatic. They keep one person to monitor IND. But they UME, and that's when Fnatic, or that's when IND could potentially push up the hill. And, I do believe and just try and like four four v one it or something. I do believe there's a little bit of a dip in the land, which is allowing them to stay mm -hmm. alive for the time being. As almost everyone's starting to prone right now, no one in the circle in the safe zone yet. So there is going to be a mass migration yeah. in the next few seconds. But they right kill now, you and me, and immediately. Always, Ronick, Ash. Could we? Could this be the game where they finally start to see that you and me player gets third partied? Fnatic knows their north is completely clear. They're completely safe to focus on their south now. And look at how fast they react to that guy getting killed in the kill feed. So the colors He's the dead. As they call it. From Umumba will be the Everyone's, fall look at that. Everyone on Fnatic instantly looks south. Umumba, that's them getting eliminated in 10 position with just two kills to their name. Not going to be happy about that. But Fnatic and Team ND looking to win this hill at the moment. You know, there are nine teams live, but it's going to be an isolated fight right now. I think uh, Team IND have their hands full with the boys from FNC and Scout with that DP manages to get a knock on yeah. a member of Team Ronak. IND. Ronak going in for the kill. He's The fact that IND is four people alive and they didn't, they couldn't do anything from this position just goes to show like when you are four alive, you need to trust in the fact that your team could take a fight. Because if you're playing survival, it doesn't matter if you're four, five, six people, like a six-person team. If you're putting yourself in a spot to just try and survive, a team will shit on you. And this spot that IND is at is definitely like one of those just try and get in zone and survive type of deals. <clears throat> that should only be done when you're like a solo or a duo, right? When you're a three-man or a four-man... You should try and look to take a fight late game. Otherwise, you'll just die. So, IND ended up going out in ninth place. They go out in ninth place. That's like, what, uh, like two points placement-wise? I'm pretty sure they would much rather just take one point placement-wise. Or that might be three points placement-wise. But I'd rather take one point placement wise dying way earlier trying to push Fnatic than just trying to survive in a really bad spot. He gets two, and that is a squad wipe Fnatic with five kills off. Yeah. So. That's probably the biggest thing. Also, TSM. I guess we'll talk about the TSM pull-up. A TSM pull-up was uh, not the move. Yeah, it was, it was just not the move. But uh, <clears throat> a better way to pull up onto this compound, like, th this compound is really hard to fight in. Like... Or, or, or to take over in general. Mainly because no matter which side you pull up from, if there's another team, teams always play up here. The school apps down here, teams always play down there. Basically, no matter where you pull up, a different team will be able to shoot at you. In which case, 
you need to pull up and get into the fight with the team at the compound instantly. You can't pull up onto the outside, the walls to try and work it because you will get shot in the back. Uh, so in this case, they came in from this side, right? TSM. The best thing they could do, realistically, the best thing is don't even try and fight for this compound at all. But if they had to, you know, you could try and come in this way and then um, immediately you could use, there's like this slim alleyway right here that you could run into. Uh, there's the windows, you know, vaulting the windows is almost just as bad as vaulting the walls. But there's like a corner room here that you could vault into. So it's like you know, you're not just vaulting a wall and everyone can see you no matter where you vault in from the wall. You can vault into a corner room. You could maybe run into the garage if a person's not set up in the garage. There's just like a bit more options. Um, yeah, so TS, TSM. I, don't, I really think they were just testing it. I don't think this was something that they thought would work. They probably did this thinking this is probably not going to work, but we're going to try it. Hopefully. I've seen them play. They're very experienced. So this kind of just confused me. Russell, you got anything you want to mention in particular? For About game? the game? Yeah, for game number one. I feel like that pull-up on TSM was terrible. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that IND was on that side with you, Mamba, and they wrapped. Yeah. I don't know. Like, that should give you more incentive to push uh, Fnatic. Because you know there's a team on their backside, too. So they're literally pinched in between you and your Mamba. Mm -hmm. So there's no reason not to, like, take them out, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that, it's that survival mentality. It happens to, like, everybody, right? You panic, you just want to get in zone. You don't want to, you don't want to, like, take a fight and die. But late game, you, you're going to die if you don't win the fight at some point. So. Yeah, I'm surprised I didn't see any, uh, there was no smokes from IND either. Whenever they got the first, or whenever Fnatic got the first knock on them. They didn't throw any utility. They might have been out with the boys from at that point. And Scout. But even if they threw smokes on themselves, you know, they're on a still pretty screwed. Oh, no. Yeah. yeah. Going in. They all got, like, killed, like, one after another within, like, less than two to three seconds. So even if they had a smoke, like, they probably couldn't even get it out in time. Yeah. Uh, Fnatic, Fnatic played it correctly. Given their situation, like, yeah, they played it well. Besides Ronak not helping the back team when one of them on the back got knocked. But, I mean, IND didn't push anyway, so I guess, yeah, he got lucky.